he won two majors back to back. Yeah, and I'm just going off PGR rankings right now. He's, he's the best player in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's also the best player online. So he's definitely collecting paychecks wherever he goes. Uh, he's made more money in the past two months than I've made in my life, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Either way, getting first, uh, getting started in this first game here, we got Regal taking on Click. We got the Young Wing taking on the Lucas. Let's see how it works out. He actually got the parry on that. That's the only way that you can punish that up. It's got like nearly no like landing lag. So you basically just have to parry the last hit and then immediately get your punish going. Right. So far, it seems pretty even so uh, between the two players. It, it's mostly like one of those situations where you're just going to have to like try to feel it out a little bit. Like obviously both these players know what they're looking for, what they're dealing with, right? Just like how are you going to, you know, continue to establish your game plan? What is your opponent going to be looking for? What are they trying to do? And then how are you going to react to it? It feels like in the mid-range projectile wars, Lucas tends to have the advantage. Zayr can clank with a lot of uh, what Click's trying to toss out. Mm -hmm. In addition, that PK fire tosses, it's a lot slower moving than some of the Click's projectiles, but it's just so big. It oh, forms yeah. a wall that can like eliminate those fire arrows or the boomerangs. Oh! And, oh, you pulled yourself up the stage just to get sent away. A little bit too errant right there from Click. Regalo, great coverage with the down smash. Yeah, kind of a tough situation there for... Uh... <laughs> For Click, but you know what, Regalo uh, is just honestly, he's been fantastic. He definitely, like, that is, like, Lucas Down Smash is already, like, nuts, right? It's got three hitboxes that are huge. Uh, I think they chain into each other as well, so you can definitely, you know, intercept a lot of recoveries that way. Yep, but these tether ones, I feel like they have the, their best equipped to deal with it because they can just stay down there. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't want to put up with it, so I'll wait until that smash attack is done, and then I'll rear back up. Great parry gets the down tail into the sweet spot neutral air, but not quite going to kill. And this is another benefit that Regalo is going to have here. He's a floaty character, and whenever he gets hit by any of these setup moves, he just has to hold out, and it's very gonna, it's going to be very difficult for Click to get the stronger, slower, hits that he typically can glean. Yeah. I mean, also be able to take that stock. Only taking 37 in the process as well. That's not bad at all. But going to miss that grab. You're going to get grabbed yourself here. Oh! Oh, okay. That Actually was fell strange. out of it. Huh. That's a, it was a great play right there from Regalo, but Click just like that. Ah, nope. Uh -oh. favorite gamer. All do? right. Well, that time, not going to get caught up by the down smash. So a little bit of a, a happy moment there for Click. But now he's get some good damage here. Okay. Getting it going. These down tilts, man, they're just so great in this matchup because Regalo tends to want to like approach from a more of a hurt horizontal angle, and it gives him a little bit of like that hurt box shifting that he like ducks down for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. Getting, oh! oh, forcing these tech situations. Even if you get out of one spot, he's got another kill move ready. Yeah, honestly, that was just fantastically played by Click there. Uh, you know, going down, losing that first stock, and now taking a strong lead here, not just in the stocks, down but upbeat. percentage. That's not going to be it, right? Okay, you know he what? Didn't have the bomb. <laughs> oh, no. there's that, there's that, but also, like, you got 90% on there, and you're at, like, 180 or something like that, so... Yeah, did he throw, yeah, did he throw away a stock? Yeah. Could you potentially have gotten it? Yeah, but you got 90% on him. But now, Regalo is looking to take that... To the bank, it looks like. He's almost untouched uh -oh. so far. Gets the jab lock. No, he messes oh. up the last hit. Wow. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, now it's just a matter of getting back to the stage here, and that's a back throw. It's not going to be enough. He air dodges in. He doesn't have a bomb. No, he does. I don't think he did. No. I don't think he had the bomb there. That was just... <laughs> that was just covered. <laughs> that was a... That was just covered. That was a... Messy, like, last 30 seconds. <laughs> so, we, we, I mean, you talked about how it can be good to cash in that stock for max damage, but it looked like right there, Regalo, it just lit a fire under him. The second that he got back, he mm -hmm. was just untouchable. Yeah, no, I like, you, you're right on that one, but, like, it, it, these guys definitely took turns just, like, absolutely destroying each other, mm -hmm. uh, taking the lead and stuff like that, which is what I like to see. I like to see two players trading the lead back and forth, getting some big plays, and that's what these two absolutely did. Uh, we'll have to see if Click can find a way to be a bit more consistent there. They definitely kind of flubbed it a little bit at the end, but, I mean, it's also just Regalo being an amazing player. I mean, we got a little bit of uh, Regalo's tag, too. It was just chaos at that last stock, and a little reason for it is this character's mobility here. Look at the way that Regalo just, like, dashes and dances around what Click is trying to toss out. Okay. I do like the kind of jump over him and then throw out that back air, right? So as you're landing, you got this big hitbox kind of covering your backside, stopping uh, Click from... Potentially, you know, getting a big punish out of that. So I do like that. So there's a lot of small intricacies that Regalo's kind of incorporating into their game plan here. Uh, just trying to make things happen. I do like that, too. You got, like, the down tilt, I think it was, or, like, jab one, two, and then jumped over to the platform so you don't have to deal with the boomerang. I like that. 
Also, Regalo's pivot grab's been on point. Oh, yeah. This is a character where, yeah, he's got a tether recovery and he's got a tether grab, but it doesn't feel like it. Oh! Look at that drag down, too. So sick. Yeah, that was almost really scary. Just barely missing out on the grab, uh, but it definitely goes to show what Regalo's looking for, and that click needs to be a little more careful. Uh, you know, just opening themselves up for a lot of damage, potentially just some stocks disappearing. 147 now. You could be seeing that go, and there comes the PK fire to close out the stock. And yes, Chaos is reigning supreme here. And Click might need to go ahead and get those setups after he converts with one of those projectiles. Regalo, absolutely no need. He can just go ahead and get that PK fired to kill at 150%. I think he's happy to do that. Like, he just doesn't need to interact with Click. He doesn't need to go in if he doesn't want to. It feels like Click might have the better projectiles, but the mobility of Lucas seems like it is turning this into his favor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Just keeping that pressure on that shield. And not only that, Right with the uh, the Zare, the uh, like I think if you double jump and then double Zare, jump, it, it, Zare yeah. it just cancels it. But the thing is, is that even though it didn't connect, he actually pushed Click towards the, the edge of the stage, reducing how much room he has to actually work with. So there's a lot again, a lot of small things about Regalo's game plan that are just coming into fruition here. And I think Click's really got to find a way to deal with this pressure. It's just tons of extra credit already here. Seventy two percent from Click, and the second that Regalo gets down, he's already swinging for the fence with those back airs. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yep, that PK fire can be a big issue, but some way, somehow, Click finding a way through it. Gets the Rapid Jab, too, so Regalo stuck at edge into the down air, so reset the situation. And this is what Click can do so well. Just toss out a bevy of hitboxes in the corner, keep on swinging. Oh, yeah, I forgot that uh, Lucas has a dash attack that actually does stuff like that. <laughs> he could have taken the stock. <laughs> That's how strong yeah, that is. nearly did. Yeah, that dash attack is super, super strong. I mean, granted, you can't be punished for it, but the one time he throws it out there. Is he dead? Yeah, he, he used a double jump into uh, the PK Thunder. I mean, that says PK Thunder being an, uh, an annoying projectile as it is, uh, especially with Lucas's because it's got that weird, like, multi-hit aspect coming on in the tail as well. Kind of just, you can drag people almost a little bit. Like trying to go ahead and convert with that. Oh, yeah, that's the thing, too. <laughs> yeah, the, ma the magnet cancel. <laughs> I forgot that, like, Lucas's magnet is kind of, like, kind of wacky. You can it do is. some really crazy stuff with that. Oh, Whoa. Just, there's that drag you were talking about. Yep, and it just put him in a really awful, uh, precarious position off stage. We saw that, that up smash attempt was coming out. All right. Ooh. Those platforms spell death for Regalo. Click is so good at covering that with the down air. I don't know what Regalo could have done to live. And I'm spelling seven herbs and spices right now. Jeez. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the guy's back here eating some Kentucky Fried Chicken, making me hungry, man. Either way, uh, okay, going to get that up special. Look at how deep Click is going here. I mean, I like the attempt, though, because that could have been huge. Ooh. You know what? They could. So they went for that down air, right? Kind of. Pop them around the stage a little bit, and then they were hopefully going to be on the other side for that forward tilt. Lucas forward tilt, it's so it, strong. It's a yeah. monstrosity. I don't know what the hell Sakurai was thinking. All right, click force to the corner out again, and click. How is he going to be able to get back? Just the landing there, and yeah, they, good luck punishing that. Yep, there's that forward air once again. Not going to take the stock. He's okay. got. Does he have a bomb this time? He does. Ooh, okay. I like the parry on that PK fire. That was huge. Get him out of here. <laughs> get him out of here. Yeah, the up throw, just getting that, getting that out of here, closing out that stock. But yeah, Regalo going to get up 2-0 here. But listen, we've seen what Click can do. True, in but game I, five I just, situations. I love those di checks. It's like this man has like <laughs> three kill throws. So at that point, just like I bet you're not holding this way. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely one of those situations. I, I I like to do that like when I'm playing instant. Sometimes, like if I got you at the ledge, right? I know you're going to hold in because you think I'm going to back throw. So instead, I just up throw you and you completely fluff your, uh, exactly. you know, fluff yep. your DI and you go straight into the top blast zone. So. I mean, I do the same thing with K roll. It's like I know they're going to mash, but they never expect the back throw to kill. Exactly. Well, I mean, back throw is. It's, <laughs> it's right. nest back throw. <laughs> it's, it's silly. That <laughs> I'm going to track sense. you and I'm just going to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It, that's a messed up move. Yeah, K-Roll is also a character that got uh, some pretty sizable buffs. Yes, we were talking about that earlier when we were eating some hot dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what was that? Uh, I think it's like Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs or something uh, like, like that. Uncle, it's like Uncle Al's. Uncle yeah, Al's. Uncle Al's. That, was, <laughs> that place is delicious, is, man. That was sure. good. I went there twice today. <laughs> <laughs> I went there for lunch and dinner. I was like, oh, that was a good lunch. Hey, Scabs, are you eat dinner yet? Repeat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Anyway, you're just looking for an excuse. You didn't feel shame. Listen, That's what it was. I would have done it. If you said no, I would have gone there anyway, right? I got no shame. I, listen, a good hot dog is a good hot dog. I love cheese fries. I got some good cheese fries True, there. Yep, Shout yep. out to Uncle Al. <laughs> Let's get into this game three. Uh, we're going to see if Regala can try to close this out with a, just a strong 3 -0. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily be a strong 3 because it was, it's been a competitive set the entire way through. It has, but it feels just like regal has got that extra sauce. Yeah, he does have a little bit extra going on here. Every time Click takes two steps forward, Regala's taking three. 
Trying to go ahead and connect with the back air to get those tech situations. And look at the lingering PK higher. What? It's set up for all of that. And then you just, I never understand how you get hit by that hitbox. I don't know. This game is just, is something, man. You're dead for that. Yep. <laughs> like, what do you actually do? It feels like if Click does not have a bomb when he goes low, he's just instantly dead because of that PK Thunder. Yeah, he does have that benefit of having that bomb that can explode, you know, in a fairly quick interval to be able to, you know, kind of get that double recovery. But, oh, man, this is looking rough, man. Regalo just continues to just adapt super, super well. We saw him do this earlier against Peanut, too. So, I mean... <laughs> it's like every again every time Click takes a couple steps forward, Regalo's like, "Oh, cool, you're gonna do that now." Well, I got this. The stage. Yeah, Look there at you that. go. This, double jump canceled Zairs. The Zair plane. I mean, the crowd is still on Click's side. <laughs> Hit him with that Jimmy Neutron Blaine brain blast. Yeah, I mean that move's actually messed up. I think it's actually like the first frame it's is, in, bold, is yeah. invulnerable, which is stupid. Uh, it's like it's kind of a, it's it's a, it's a you know it's a kind of a green, toss up, but yeah, but it's strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that's so unfortunate! Step on him! Step on him! Grab him! Toss him off stage! Oh my goodness! Oh no! Sometimes it feels <laughs> like nothing's going your way. And Click perhaps a bit frustrated <laughs> after that one. Oh my god! Oh! What a reversal. Miracolo! Jeez! This is what I'm talking about. Good, good Lucas players are saucy as hell. They do some of the coolest stuff, which is why I want this character to be consistent, right? But it's just all the lame Lucas players that just make me hate this character so much. <laughs> just Wi-Fi with bad connection and PK fire. Yep. That is my per own personal hell. Uh, shout out to WebJP, man. I wish he still played Lucas. I get why he doesn't anymore, but man, he had a sick Lucas yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, man. Chase him off stage, trying to go ahead and connect with the boomerang. That would have spelled death, but barely trading right there with that hitbox with the <laughs> up air. Yeah, you talk about a brain blast using the whole noggin on the up air, closing out that stock. Fantastic stuff. From Regalo, two stocks to one. That's all gonna be a big punish there. Yep, gets a couple. Nothing else though. Oh, oh, oh. Double up air into the forward air and now. Head trap situation. And look at just the <laughs> same pressure here, just <laughs> tapping his shield, daring him to hit a button. Jason Moss eight has to use the air dodge, has to go low, and Regalo actually finds himself in an awkward spot. Yeah, and I forget that Lucas and Ness have a double jump or a third jump in the form of their air dodge, being able to go quite the distance oh, for there. Sure, yeah. It's actually kind of insane. <laughs> okay, Regalo is BMing at the moment. You saw him just crouching there for a hot minute? Yep. He's taking a knee, recognizing that his opponent, it might be very well injured here. Uh, being down a whole stock like this, 100%. You can see Regalo's definitely kind of messing around here a little bit, but listen, if you mess around too much, you might just find out. He is whiffing a few punishes that could have had the game. Instead, he gets the down tilt into the forward tilt, gets him off stage. How did they not connect? Did he air dodge? I don't know if he air dodged fast enough there. He's swinging with all his work, and finally, again, just a grab into the up throw. Check that man's DI, and then show him the door. Yep, man. Regalo, honestly, as the games went on, he just continued to build on this lead further and further. Fantastic.